Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So there has been a lot of hand wringing about the impact of large language models that can generate code on teaching computer science. What happens to intro to programming, intro to CS courses when students can simply use Codex or GPT or Chat GPT to get pretty decent answers to simple coding problems? I've looked at some other papers that have also tried to build benchmarks of how LLMs do on simple coding problems, but this one looks particularly at intro to CS level problems. This is a pretty recent paper. It's a preprint on archive from October 2022. And if I were to cut through the chase and summarize it, what they found was out of 166 problems, Codex solved half of them on the very first attempt using just the initial description of the problem. And of the ones it couldn't solve on the first attempt, it solved 60% of those by changes to the prompt or the problem description. And the big takeaway from this is that prompt engineering or knowing how to effectively write a prompt for these large language models is going to become an important skill for programmers to have. So let's look at this in a bit more detail and see the kinds of problems they looked at and what they found. Here's an example of how a student would use Codex, which is GitHub's code completion model for an intro to CS type problem. This is a pretty simple problem. You have a list of strings and you need to find the average length of all the strings that contain a given string. Now, when you first give this problem description to Codex, the initial code that it produces is incorrect. Now, you could either debug this code or you could simply reframe your prompt and ask Codex to solve the problem again. So in addition to the problem statement, here is a bit more detail on what we want from the solution. And this time, it does produce a correct answer or at least a more correct answer. This will blow up with a division by zero if count happens to be zero. But at least for the cases where count is not zero, it will produce the correct answer. What the authors are trying to show here is this way of interacting with code completion models where you describe the computational steps in natural language in increasing levels of detail as a way of generating the code that you want. Let's start looking at their methodology as their input data set. They use a publicly available set of intro to CS level exercises. It's called code check. And that set of problems has 166 problems and you can divide them into these categories, things like solutions that need branches or str string manipulation or str list manipulation and so on. To start with, they took each problem description from this code check data set and pasted it into VS Code with the Copilot extension. If that initial suggestion from Copilot resulted in the test cases for that problem passing, it counted as solved, solved by Copilot. If any of the tests failed, then the authors would try to add additional detail to the problem statement and use that as a subsequent prompt for Codex. And this is repeated either until the code is correct and all the test cases pass, or there are no obvious clarifications that can be made to the description. And this table summarizes their results out of 166 total problems, 79, which is nearly half, was solved the first time. So with just the initial problem description. And then of the ones that were not solved with just the initial problem description, 53 were solved with a modified description with more detail, leaving only 34 unsolved. This graph shows a breakdown of what category of problems was solved with just the initial description versus a modified description. Somewhat surprisingly, the two largest categories on which Copilot failed were conceptual and verbose prompts. 
and they give an example of that over here where when the prompt was rather terse as in the upper example copilot could solve it whereas if you gave it a more detailed or verbose prompt it failed so that's an interesting tension between providing additional detail versus the model doing poorly on very verbose prompts and what this suggests is that you might get better results by reframing the question or explaining it in a different way as opposed to simply adding more words or more detail to the description so what do we see from this work we see that large language models for code completion are incredibly effective at intro to cs level problems and in the cases where they can solve it reframing or rewriting the prompt can then prove to be an effective strategy in solving the problem the authors take a somewhat optimistic view of this saying that there's pedagogical value in these back and forth interactions with the model because students still need to look at why the code is failing and then frame a prompt that tries to address this failure i'm still very curious about the nuts and bolts of it how would a professor actually teach an intro to cs course when everyone was using copilot how would they teach language features or what kinds of problems would they give that could actually test the student's knowledge of a programming language as opposed to just fiddling with prompts so i think that's still an open question so that was a quick look at an effort to quantify how llm code models do on intro to programming intro to cs level problems and they do really well and how prompt engineering can play a vital role in getting them to solve more problems i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you next time thank you very much